In this video, we're going to learn how to create a classic email test and a spam test. From the left-hand navigation bar, we'll click on Email and Spam Testing. We have the option to create an email test or a spam test by itself, or combine them. There are several different options to upload your HTML content in order to create your test. You can copy and paste it directly into the tool, enter a URL, upload a zip file, or email the content directly from your ESP. If you're using this method, you'll want to send the content to this custom testing address. I'm going to paste in my demo code and click Next. I'm now going to be selecting an email client profile. It's going to default to displaying all of the different clients we offer, but you can also use a custom set of clients if you have one set up. I'll now be able to enter my subject line, which will serve as the title for this project. Now is when we'll set up the spam test portion. We have three different methods to create a spam test. You can send the spam test to a seed list that we provide, use your SMTP credentials to send the email, or let email on ACID send it on your behalf. While using this method, you'll only need to enter your sending address. Your content will now be submitted for rendering and we'll wait for our results to start populating. You can change the thumbnails to be full length or cropped. Clicking into the individual client preview will give you the best view. You can scroll through the preview itself, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down rating, and leave a comment on the preview. Under this tool section, we can even download the previews if needed. Since we decided to include a spam test, let's head over to the deliverability tab. Here, we'll be able to see pass or fail results from a variety of different spam filters. The URL validation tab will check all of your links and it'll display the redirects and display if any of the domains may be block listed somewhere. When we're ready to share our results, we can generate a share link to this test. Anyone with this link will be able to view the rendering results without needing to have an email on ACID account.